Hey, what's going on? This is Tundra here. Um, I just want to bring you a quick video showing you the mapping that I've used for a long time for Mixtrack Pro inside of Tractor Pro 2. Um, this is version 2.6, so it's working right now. Um, and a lot of people use a Mixtrack Pro out there. It's probably one of the most widely used um, entry level DJ controllers out on the market. And I just want to make a quick video and give you my TSI file for people that are wanting to use it for Tractor. Um, so you can just download the file, import it into Tractor, and you'll be good to go. And I'll show you mapping so it's really easy to use. Um, and yeah, we'll do that. Alright, so once again, nothing super fancy. It's a super basic uh, two deck layout for Tractor. Um, it's designed just to load your file, your TSI into Tractor, import it, and you'll be good to go having all the functionality of this guy inside a tractor. Um, so, stuff that, standard stuff you would expect, um, you know, your treble, mid, bass, and same on both sides. Um, your gain controls on both sides right here, each splatter, deck A, deck B, your master right here, fader, nothing special there. Um, we, I got the hot cues working in here, so you have your hot cue one, hot cue two, three, and then I've gotten rid of the pitch bend right here, and this is hot cue four and five. So your pitch bend negative is hot cue four, your pitch bend positive is hot cue five. Um, I just personally don't really use the pitch bend much during a live set, so I'll use the platter some nudge if I need to. Um, so you have that right there. Um, if you hit the delete button, you'll see it lights up right here and you can delete your hot cue, so if you don't want that, you can delete that. Get rid of the delete again, and then it'll go just back into program mode so you can use it. The hot cues are set up, You hold if the deck's not playing, you hold it down, that'll activate the sample. Um, if your deck is playing, you can just press it and it'll jump around. So pretty simple stuff, you know, play, pause, stutter. Nothing special there. On your platters here, when your track's playing, if the scratch button's lit up, you can either turn it on and off. Um, if you hit the scratch, you can scratch through, scrub through really fast. Um, if it's not, you can just use it for fine nudge adjustments. Um, over here you have your, I guess your tempo adjust, your pitch right here. Um, I have it set up really sensitive, you can change that, um, but you can drop down, jump up, you know. Nothing super special there. Key locks, they work. Um, your cue for your headphones right here. Um, but yeah, pretty much just wanted to create this because a lot of people I've talked to have a lot of problems getting a mix track set up in Tractor because of course it's not doesn't work right out of the box perfectly Tractor. So I just wanted you to supply, wanted to supply you with my TSI file. Get it all working and make it easy for you. So if you have questions, shoot a comment down on the wall, whatever. Um, if you want any advice or anything, just let me know. And yeah, that's pretty much it, I believe. This should be all you need to get going with a Mixtrack Pro inside a tractor. Peace.